What's going on everyone? It's your boy Grim here with my special guest this tiny baby kitten. That's my tiny baby friend. <laughs> and today we're taking a look at mono black aggro. So someone took this list to number one as early as yesterday. It was Witch actually who is all about that list race to number one in Mythic Life. I gave this list a shot and I gotta say it's pretty good. It's very straightforward. Just aggressive one drops. A one drop that's you know decent blocker but gives you some life takes some life removal black lance paragon is either just a flash threat that can come down i think this is the only other night but it's just kind of a removal spell that can gain you three life our dummy thick smelly boy rotting regisaur here we got three wrinkles four spawn of mayhems none of this is cool it's this card this card is the difference maker not only can you play it from your graveyard but i mean it turns mediocre threats into nightmares and Rotting Redisaur is your prime target, making this guy into a 10-7 flyer. Ridiculous. Not to mention it becomes a zombie dinosaur demon, and I mean, who doesn't love that combination of creature types, right? But over here in the sideboard, we got two disfigures. Look at it, you, Kenny. Got four duresses, a couple soul guy lanterns to hate on the yard, two more grasps, four noxious grasps, and one Davriel. Because sometimes you just got to chew people's hands up, and four duress isn't enough. But hey, with all that being said, let's get out here. Let's put Demonic Embrace on some Rotting Regisaurs. Hell, even a little old Gutter Bones to have a 5-2 flyer. Or our Trampoly Boy here who gets bigger. Let's run some folks down. I've actually already played a mirror with this deck on the ladder, so expect to see it at some point. Mm. Where to keep this? We don't have a one drop, but... We flash this in on two, three, four, swing with ten. Provided we don't get teft at some point. Ride on time, Scorpion. <laughs> this is my Paragon. Man, I really hope this Red Sword doesn't get bounced. Get in for three, play our dummy thick smelly boy, we'll discard a swamp, play both of these out, provided this is still here when we untap. A nice thing too is we can play this from our graveyard, so even if we lose our threats, we get this back. Yep, there's Tef. Bye, That's Rotting so Regisaur. Bye, friend. Alright, we're probably just gonna demonic embrace on the Paragon now, I'm thinking, maybe. Maybe not. I feel like there's a shatter in our future, so we're just going to hold these two up together. And I'd rather not get shattered at instant speed, so we're going to address that Tef as well. We actually might just discard Gutter Bones, because we'll have five mana. Oh, okay, we don't have to discard anything. Never mind. Let's put a Wrinkle into play with Gutter Bones. I would like each player to discard a card. We'll lose this swamp. Conquer's death, sure. We're gonna embrace on this gutter bones. So, as promised, even a mediocre threat becomes a real threat here. Play this out as well, force him to have an answer. Uru is not a good enough answer. I think we just got him. Unless they have like Brazen Borrower or something. Or maybe Untap Land Teth? No. It's just a good game. Baller. Well, let's extra pump. Go crush our bant opponent. See, it doesn't matter if your opponent has Ugin if they can't get to eight mana. <laughs> All right, let's get our boy sorted. <laughs> uh, it's not super exciting, but I mean, I guess we do have removal, removal, turn one night. Turn one night is always a good play. Hmm. 
question is, do I want to play this out or just hold up eliminate? I'm just going to play this out. Hopefully we can go land drop, embrace, start pumping. Uh, we did not hit the land drop. We can do away with that though. I don't know what our opponent's ramping into, but not today. Not on my watch. Land please. Land please. Ooh, Bosri catch. So second eliminate's gonna come in awfully handy. I trust in your Or I could hold the eliminate. We could embrace here. This knight is gonna be able to pump up the jams with the quickness. You know, maybe we should have just ignored Bosri and just went face. Oh, they're gonna bounce our knight. That's so sad. But we can play that from the yard. Oh, I didn't get the land off the top that I wanted though. Okay, you take care of Tef. This is hardly my worst defeat. And let's just say dude plus dude go. Probably just embrace from hand targeting gutter bones, I'm thinking. Sure. Okay. That's pretty good. Is it good enough is the question. I'm thinking no. Okay, let's eliminate the druid. And let's just take care of the Bosri. I'd really like to go face here, but I just don't want him having the walker. Sure. Okay. Opponent making blockers. I'm down. Hmm. Do we want to embrace or just rankle? I think I want to just rankle. Okay. Uh, each player discards. And I would like each player to sack a creature. Ah, we'll draw a card to you. Let's do all the things. Let our gutter bones go so we can pick that back up later. It is nice that we have a little bit of graveyard recursion here between these. I'll say we're gonna grasp next turn, demonic embrace, smash. Yeah, we are good. Alright, let's see what you got. I do not believe in you. Um Okay. This is maybe one, two, three. Hopefully. If we're on the play, that probably improves their minds, which we are. Outstanding. <laughs> turn three spawn is a problem. Ooh, especially with Demonic Embrace involved. You play a creature, I'll eliminate it, we'll spawn, we'll embrace the following turn, say good game. Oh, but there's a dummy thick smelly boy. Oh, dummy thick smelly boy is so good as a 10 power flyer. <laughs> Alright, here's my dummy thick smelly boy opponent. Let's do this instead. Okay. Hopefully they don't go blue land bounce you. <laughs> Game two. Sounds good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch the eliminate actually. This is my rotting regisaur. It is very hard to deal with. Sure. I would like to swing 10 in the air at you, opponent. Can you do anything about that? Red, colorless, colorless. I can't think of much. Yeah. Yeah, 10-7 flyer. It's a problem. 
Man, this has been one of the fastest recording sessions I've ever had. I mean, I guess that probably has something to do with the fact that I like to play just horribly grindy, miserable decks, but that's neither here nor there. Got Luris over there. What are you doing, opponent? Luris Knights. Okay. The Spawn of Mayhem can do a very effective job racing if we needed to. Yep, we'll take that block. We're just gonna say go. I'd like to get the gutter bones up, but I want him to swing with the knight. That way we can eliminate it and just kind of have him skip their turn, hopefully. Storm Fist, deal. No Knight of the Ebon Legion for you. After you, opponent. Second Paragon, nice. You got me. Question is, do I want to get Spawn of Mayhem down or would I like to embrace now? I think I'm just going to swing and let's see what the opponent's got. Paragon, sure. We can swap Paragon's opponent. And let's get this spawn of mayhem into play for his special cost. We'll hook this guy up with a demonic embrace next turn and put on a very fast clock. And have Black Lance Paragon to hold up. Hopefully we don't eat like a dire tactic. That passed awfully quick. That sure sounds like we're racing to me. I guess you might as well go to. If they have another Paragon, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not even tripping on it. Game three, life dog. Still get in for seven in the air. Five is one, yeah. The question is, do I want to pick Gutter Bones up or hold? I think I'm just going to hold up Paragon and we'll take their Paragon down and gain some life ourselves. Get a Rankle on next turn. Swing extra hard in the air. Oh no. They, they gained life. Why are they doing that? Whatever. I also want to gain life opponent. What this world has come to, that aggro decks are out here gaining life, playing at instant speed. Okay. Hmm. This is my wrinkle. Let's go. Go ahead and discard your last card. And I'm good with that. This is both discard. This tournament grounds, sure. It's gonna move gutter bones to hand. I'm not worried about trying to fake like we have something. Alright, opponent, can you end me here before my 10 points in the air get you? That looks like a no. Alright, good game, opponent. Man, even though Luris Knights didn't want it. There's just so many, or so few decks actually, that have legitimate flyers right now. That, I'd say, like our 10 or 10 7 Rotting Regisaur, or that 7 5 Flying Trample that has the opportunity to get bigger. Demon, they're just so hard to stop. But hey, everybody, 
Thanks for tuning in today. You really should give this deck a shot. It's a great best of three ranked deck. It's probably a reasonable best of one ranked deck, but it's great in best of three. I can tell you that for sure. I've had success with it. Hopefully you do too. But hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more content.